Hello, my name is Caroline. I'm a third year law student at Harvard Law School. And here I am reacting to another semester of my grades. If I look tired, it's because I am. It's our last year. I was gonna like do a whole, you know, I was not ready before this video so I could look presentable since it's on the internet. But I've been in class all day and I'm just tired and it's late and I'm ready to go to sleep. So we're just gonna do this now. Um, I got the email this morning that grades are out for last semester. So these are my grades for my second last semester. I'm in my last semester right now. And yeah, so I tried to take an easier semester last semester. I did a clinic, which is not easier. A clinic is a lot of work, but I did four hours of clinic, which I'm curious to see how they're gonna grade for that because it's not like I just took an exam or anything. Um, I did a reading group that's just pass fail. So there's no real grade for that. I did a bunch of seminars, like just things that I'm interested in. I took no black letter laws. It was supposed to be a chill semester, but we'll see how that kind of reflects in terms of our grades. So I'm gonna log in now to see what my grades are. Um, for context, Harvard doesn't give like number grades. So it's not like 80, 85, 90. Harvard also doesn't do like A plus, A, A minus or whatever. Harvard just does pass, fail, honors. And then you can also have like a low pass but I don't think anyone fails unless you like truly just don't go to the exam. Most people get passes and then about a third of the class get honors. It's like a scale. Um, it's a bell curve or something like that. But if it's a small class, if it's just a seminar under like 30 people, then the professor can give out like as many honors as they want. But usually it's about like a 70-30 ratio of passes to honors. And then if you do like really poorly, you can get like a low pass. But the, so the majority of the class gets a pass. That's like a standard grade. It doesn't mean anything. Honors just means that you did like slightly better. Okay, so I'm going in now. Unofficial transcript. Huh. Okay, that is better than... <laughs> Okay, well, that's made my day a lot better. Um, okay, so so the first course that I was in was a business and human rights seminar. That one, the final like big thing was we had to do a big research paper at the end. I wrote my paper on um, the use of prison labor in the US and how many companies are using prison labor in the US, which is forced labor, even though all these companies are like, we don't use forced labor, but they use, do use forced labor. Um, so, that, so I did a paper on that and that was the paper that was due on December 24th for me and I was like truly at the end I was so tired but I got an H in that class. Um, I took a course last semester with the former Canadian Supreme Court Justice and it was really important to me that I impressed her that semester because like she's just so cool. Justice Abella of the Canadian Supreme Court. Um, I just think she's so cool and I got an H in that class. I wrote my paper on um how judges deal with science so i did like a comparative look at how courts struggle the judiciary struggles to understand science in the forensic science context and the u.s and then i compared that to how courts have been struggling to understand like health like sci health science in brazil so i did a paper for that class um and i talked a lot in class so hopefully that got me some extra bonus points because it's always scary to talk, to talk in class but i got an h there i did a writing credit with my international law professor. I did my, oh my God, I wrote so many papers last semester. This paper was on um, whether there's any kind of international liability for US gun manufacturers or like for the US gun policies in terms of all the weapons that the America is exporting illegally, uh, but specifically in the context of Mexico. So like something crazy, like 80% of guns in Mexico um, come from the US. They're like illegally exported from the US. And I wanted to see if, whether there's like any kind of international liability for that. So like, if you want to be like, okay, I want to have my own gun laws, that's fine. But if those gun laws have an impact, like a negative externality outside of your border, can you like be held responsible for that? Like, can, can you pay compensation to Mexico for all the like death it's causing? So I was exploring that in that paper. If you've watched any of my vlogs from the last semester, you'll know that I spent a lot of time working on that at the beginning. So the first three grades are all H's and it's all papers. So I'm seeing a little bit of a trend here. And then I, for my human rights clinic, I also got an H, which is kind of wild because I feel like that entire time I was just like barely keeping up with the clinic work, but it's, I guess they like what I did. So I got an H in my clinic and then I did get a P in human rights advocacy, which is the seminar connected to the clinic, which you know what, fair. 
I feel like, so that, that one was based on a series of assignments throughout the semester. And I will say that I did not do the best job on a lot of those assignments because they were due on Sunday. And I usually did them Sunday morning because they were due Sunday at noon. So you know what, that's on me. I deserve the P. Um, I definitely could have put more work in there. And then for my reading group, that was just credit, no credit. So I got the credit for that. So four H's and one P, that's not bad at all. I am very happy about this. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is gonna be a very short video because I am tired and I wanna go to bed. So that's me reacting to my law school grades at Harvard Law School. Um, stay tuned. You should like, comment, subscribe if you like law school content because I vlog. I talk about um, just like my life at law school. I have a video coming about the MPRE. I'm going to be sharing like daily life, just all that. So if you're interested in law school content, subscribe. Um, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.